Hi guys, Jason here from Electric Bike Technologies and I want to talk to you a little bit about battery balancing. I'm going to explain that simple layman's terms and I hope everybody benefits from this in that they're charging their battery uh, every couple of weeks on an extended charge for balancing. Here's what that means. These are some of the packs that we sell, okay? This applies to the Liberty Trike packs, this applies to the e-bike kit variable packs. Here we have a 10 amp hour in the aluminum, here we have a shrink wrap pack, we have different chargers for each. Here's the concept though. Inside all of these battery packs and a normal lithium ion battery pack for e-bikes, you're going to find that there are cells that look like this. Okay. They're much smaller cells. They call them 18650s. That's not important. The important part is you've got a lot of little cells in here that all make up this pack. They're arranged in a certain way to deliver a certain voltage. Okay. And then on the side, we actually have a battery management system. Every battery has that it's for charging. And so when you plug this into a charger, this right here, this board actually uh, has some programming in it and its job is to charge each one of these smaller cells. Now here's the really important concept all right your battery pack is only as good as the weakest cell. I'll say that again the battery pack is only as good as the weakest cell. What does that mean? Well that means if you have one cell that is not charged completely the battery pack is only going to be as good as that one cell that may not be charged completely and that could result in decreased capacity, which means decreased range. So let's say, for example, you have a 10 amp hour battery. You think it's going to go 10 to 20 miles. Whatever the other factors, you usually get 15 out of your ride. But then you see you get seven one day. Well, it could be that either there's damage or more than likely one of the cells has not been charged to full. So here's the deal. You need to do something called balancing charging. And here's exactly what that means. It means that you're going to put your battery at least every couple of weeks, depending on frequency of use, but every couple of weeks, you're going to at least want to do, if you don't regularly, you're going to want to put your charger on and leave it on for an extended charge. Now that could be overnight, that could be 10 hours, whatever, but you want to put it on there. And even though it goes full, even though we got green here or green here and you think it's full, you don't want to take it off. Again, this is every couple of weeks, you leave it on, you don't take it off, even though it says it's full, you let it run, let it run its course. It will actually cycle on and off during that extended charge and it will be able to fill all of the cells. Some of the cells that are full will give off some heat and some energy because they're full, but the other cells, the ones that need to come up to be even with the rest of the pack to deliver full capacity will get charged if you leave it on for an extended charge and no more than that. Just, you know, overnight, every couple of weeks, it's that simple. A good way to think about this is like a champagne tower. Now, I don't have a bunch of glasses here for props and a bottle of champagne to do this with, but we use this analogy a lot. If you're pouring the champagne tower and you keep pouring, some of those glasses are going to fill it's going to be uneven and you need to keep pouring until all the glasses are full. And that's how you're going to get the full range, the full capacity out of your battery packs. I hope that concept makes sense. And I hope it solves the problem for a lot of people who have been pulling off, you know, once they think it's full and not getting the full range of their battery. So if you haven't done it before, if you haven't done it in a while, give your battery some love, put it on a charge, leave it overnight for a balancing charge.